Well, Nintendo has done it. They have finally admitted that they may not have enough Nintendo Switches for the holiday season, at least in the United States. That is, if President uh, and I believe CEO or COO, whatever his other title is in Nintendo, uh, comes down to. He has spoken out now at an event for Variety uh, at their little keynote. He talked about the Switch and a lot of other things in Nintendo, but the biggest thing that we're taking away from it is that he said that the Nintendo Switch may not be in stock for the holidays, or they might not have enough stock. Here are the exact words. He says, certainly the demand is there, and our supply chain is there to hit the 10 million unit goal we set for ourselves earlier this year. But Reggie stopped short of committing to fulfilling the demand for the coming holiday season. He goes on to say, are we going to have enough for the holiday? That's what we are focused on. So Reggie is essentially saying that there is a chance that Nintendo is not going to have enough units for the holiday season. So anyone hoping that there's going to be this massive influx of units, enough to cover Super Mario Odyssey and Black Friday sales and all this stuff, might be in for a rude awakening because the Nintendo Switch is looking like it's going to be hard to get for a while. What that means for most of you guys is that the methods you've been using to try to find a Switch so far, be it calling stores or checking online or setting up bots or doing whatever you need to do, uh, you're going to have to keep doing it. And it, it kind of sucks. I, I'd i say I'd sympathize, but I pre-ordered it. In fact, pre-ordering it was rather easy in my area, but I also live in the middle of Wisconsin, um, and I don't live in a very highly populated area like the biggest town next to us about 60,000 people something like that so it's not um not not tiny but uh definitely wasn't that hard to line up and get one uh the very first day they were available to pre-order in person and I think that's the key thing I did it in person I think of a lot of people who tried to do it online weren't willing to do it in person uh, or they couldn't because they had to work I know I understand but it's it's going to be a difficult holiday season uh what we can say is that when you finally do get a Switch, which might be sometime in 2018, uh, you're going to have a huge library of games to come back to. I mean, let's just think about the library of games that have come to Switch so far. Launched with Breath of the Wild. Just an awesome, amazing, in my opinion, the best game ever made, period. Uh, not just the best Switch game. <laughs> you got uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris. Love Puyo Puyo Tetris. Uh, you know, I've been playing a lot of Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle lately. We got uh, NBA 2K, Skyrim coming, LRA Noir. Oh, man, that's before we even talk about Splatoon 2 and ARMS and Super Mario Odyssey. I mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg. There are so many quality games coming on Switch this year that when you finally can get your hands on one, you're definitely not going to have a shortage of games to play. Game droughts? The Switch has no idea what those things even are. Every month there's like a big game coming out, sometimes two. So, yeah, I... I sympathize with you guys, and it sucks that this is happening, but uh, yeah, it sounds like the Nintendo Switch, at least in the United States, is going to continue to be sold out through the holiday season. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rufflejets from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do, and if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more, and as always, folks, I will catch you in the next one.